Hey, what's up guys? This is T-Bone here. Welcome back to another episode of playing Legendary Game of Heroes. In today's episode, I wanted to cover a couple of things. One, I wanted to help people understand how to use the support card Karina the Astounding. And also, I wanted to give some ideas uh, to players who may not have the event deck and talk about what other options you may have. So first, we're going to use the support card and we're going to understand how this works. So the support card, as we know, is the Grail type deck. And what that means is it will, uh, as part of its battle skill, what it will do is it will actually add a certain stacks of a status. It started with Grail when it was first introduced. And now with this particular event, what it will do is it will add stacks of Showtime. And Showtime is what will give you a, a lot of power gems if you can get it to the maximum. And so the max number of uh, stacks that you can get with these support cards is 20. And the way that the support cards work is that every time you activate the battle skill, it will add two stacks of uh, showtime to uh, to your card, uh, to, your, to your team. And you can see here that uh, after I activate the two support cards, you'll see that there is actually four stacks showing here uh, by this leaf. And so what you want to do is you want to try and build it up to 20. And every two turns, the, the support card will actually refresh. And so you can actually activate the two support cards every two turns, which is uh, very helpful actually in uh, getting this up and running as quickly as possible. And that's why I was saying in the previous stream that if you can have uh, three supports or more, it's going to help you uh, get there faster and you can deal more damage. But ultimately what you want to do is you want to try to get it to 20 if possible. And if depending on the amount of time that you have uh, going up to 12 or 16 is okay as well because the thing that you also need to do is you need to also make sure that uh, you give yourself four turns for the battle skill for for the uh, show time to actually um, to actually uh, time out and what we're going to do is we're going to try to go for the full 20 this time and so after this hit it's going to reach uh, the full 20 stacks uh, and what we'll do is we will then uh, go ahead and let it time out. So uh, so we're going to go ahead and activate this to reach our 20, uh, 20 stacks of showtime. And then we still have six uh, over seven, over five minutes, five seconds remaining. So that's plenty of time for us to wait the four turns. So you can see the number four above uh, 20 on the leaf there. That indicates how much time, uh, how many turns are left before it actually expires. And when it expires is when it's going to create the power gems. And keep, keep in mind that even if you have multiple copies of the support cards in there, it's not going to create more power gems. And so here we have the 20 power gems, and then you can go ahead and use the two cards again uh, to actually act as regular uh, gem spawners to fill out the rest of the, the board. And so with this team here, uh, it can deal with one key uh, close to 70 to or 80 billion. So it's more than enough to take out the legend bosses, at least in, uh, at least in the pre prestige stage and you can see here that the total amount that we were able to deal is 71 overkill so we were able to deal about 80 billion here and this was with one key and what i chose to do is i was actually showing a team that was um basically all support cards except for the raven the raven is a um is actually a an event card and then we have Almar, which you can get from the season trophies. And so this is a very viable team for anybody who may be free to play, uh, who may not have a lot of uh, cards to, to use, especially if you don't have an event card. And so this is an option they can go with. Another option that I wanted to talk about is you can also use the Slayer deck. And so if you're going to use the Slayer deck, I would also recommend that you use Almar. So I was able to get Almar from, um, from, from the trophy rewards, from the season no, trophy Rewards and I, and I actually managed to pick up another one uh, through uh, through a reward, and so I'm actually running two of them. And then the two cards that I'm using are Spirit United and also the Draconic Scoundrels. Now these two cards, uh, one of them will be the Beast Killer, and then the other one is actually uh, the Chaotic Killer. So both of these will handle the bosses just fine. And so what you can see here is you can actually uh, go up against an Overkill boss, for example. This one is weak against uh, Beast Killer. And so you can actually go in with this team with three Slayers, uh, three full on slayers and then the two almars and you can actually deal quite a bit of damage here because of the following almar as a legend card actually creates four power gems on turn one and so having two of them gives you eight power gem ones to start 
And then with the relics, you can also get uh, use the Slayer relics to build more um, power gems in the beginning. And then having these three, three Slayer cards that boost all Slayers, you effectively have five Slayer cards with eight Commander boost in here. And having the Commander boost is what's going to help uh, boost the team damage as well. And so you can see here with a single key attack, we were able to deal about 22 billion uh, on turn one. So this is very helpful for getting the... Uh, getting the damage in early and then later on as the boss's health gets higher then you'll want to adjust uh, you'll, you'll want to adjust your team a little bit so that you don't kill it right away uh, but this is actually a quick way to get the damage out there and then I also talked about in the previous stream where you can also use uh, this particular team uh, that was the previous uh, deck that uses uh, that the Po deck which is also known as a reset deck now this deck is also good uh, against the current event because this deck also has chaotic killer bonus and it's a full-on um, commander card but one thing that you'll want to pay attention to is that if you plan to use these decks against a boss that has toxin then you're going to want to bring in a card that will actually um, dispel toxin because toxin will completely block the support card and any cards that heal so basically this entire team here will get blocked because of um, uh, the, the entire team with the Draconic uh, Dragons. Our Scoundrels will actually get blocked because their battle skills involve heal. And so uh, some of the cards that have um, some of the cards that have the this, uh, Toxin counter skill, if we take a look here, are the Mouse King. Uh, if you have the uh, if you have Eris the the Dragoon or Mondo Nihil, these are the three dark cards that actually uh, can also dispel can also dispel Toxin and Mondo Nihil is a good choice if you have it because it's both a commander card as well as a card that gives you a passive revive. However, if you don't have him but you have the Mouse King, is a good choice too because the Mouse King is a Warden so that it will guarantee to dispel with the dispel level nine. So if you put him on your team, you're, you're gonna be guaranteed to uh, get the dispel because the ultimate bosses in the in the crusade level actually is the one uh, that, um, that will cast, that will actually cast the toxin. And so if you're having a difficulty uh, trying to activate your battle skills, then put one of those cards in to help you out. And so hopefully that helps uh, helps you uh, sort of get an understanding of how the deck works and also some of the ideas that you can use. I'm going to change this card out now and I'm going to show you how this would work in a, um, in a, in a team that uses Commander, for example. So let's go ahead and change this to a Dark Commander. And what you want to do is you'll want to actually try to use the event card as well, just so you can benefit more from, uh, from the event deck from the from the uh, commander skill but if you already have a deck like this you shouldn't have any problems with it uh, this is actually something that uh, I think you know if you just wanted to use the full deck you can also do that as well it works pretty well in the in, in the events and right now if we go up against uh, the legend boss you can also see that that this team is still more than enough uh, to take it out so we can go ahead and change this right here so we'll go into this deck right here and then if you take a look at the um at juliet star child's uh debuff it'll actually cast armor which is a buff on itself and this actually gets countered pretty well uh by both karina and also uh your um by, by some of these cards here so let's go ahead and use one key and see how this works and the reason why that i brought uh karina is really just so that uh, one i can use the um I can use the the relics and also because it gives me additional commander bonus even though it's not a master collection card or an ultra rare card it does provide uh 10 um the, the 10 commander bonus which will even which will actually help out a lot you can see here how much damage you can actually deal and with this particular deck really you just you just need to get a couple of hits in and then you can activate uh all of the cards so the way to activate this um 
this particular reset deck, if you remember, is you want to activate your Master Collection card in your ultimate form, and then you want to activate your uh, Ultra Rare to reset both of them. The more important thing is to reset the ultimate form. And at this point, you can see that the board is already filled. And so we're going to be able to take this boss out easily. We can deal uh, even more damage with this team, obviously, because it's a team full of um, commanders. So if you have a reset deck, uh, from the last event it is very powerful and you will be able to do well enough in this event so this is uh this is against a legend without any killer bonus and it can deal about 125 billion damage and if you go up against a um a boss that is weak to chaotic killer bonus such as uh such as Sophia here, uh, you're going to be able to deal a lot more damage as well. So it's a very viable team still. You do not, even if you don't have the current event deck, you should still be able to do well. And so that's all I wanted to, to show today. A very short video, just mainly wanted to kind of uh, showcase how you would use, uh, you would use the current support card because it is a very good card to use, and it, it's very slow as you can see here, to build up to the 20 stacks, but it's also a very, uh, with the buff to creating power gen force and also um, going up to 20 stacks, I think that this is really a great opportunity for uh, for you as a free to play player to have minimum gem uh, investments to be able to still do a lot of damage and do well in this event. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this helps and I will uh, see you in the next episode. Take care.